Hello, Scott Hutchison here, talking to you from my studio space in Arlington, Virginia. Um, I paint out of my home. Um, I'm coming at you from my studio just to give you a, a sort of a rundown of uh, what I'm working on and, and just to say hi and, and I hope you're all doing well out there, that you're staying physically and mentally health healthy. So um, it's been hard, hasn't it? Um, I've uh, the university I work at has, has moved to an online teaching experience. And so going from studio um, teaching to online has been tough, has been a challenge. It, it hasn't left me with much mental bandwidth left to produce my own work. Um, so, um, so it's been challenging, but, but I, I still come into the studio and uh, I'm still able to create a little bit, um, but it's more in spurts. Um, little uh, hour here, half hour there. Um, for example, um, now I'm talking to you. So a few minutes of just, hey, how's it going? Um, and, and this is my time here. Um, it's also a time to self, you know, to reflect also. And that's what I'm doing here, reflecting on my work and having a look at, at its state. Um, so so uh, this piece over here to my left um, is in a holding pattern. Uh, it is an underpainting that I did in uh, Burnt Umber White and Burnt Sienna that I did a, a little bit of a glaze over the top. Let me bring you here so you can see it. It might be kind of glaring a lot, but um, it still has a couple months of work left um, for me to do. Um, but I like where it's coming right now. Um, it's just that... Uh, on this piece, I'd like to spend longer hours um, on it, and I'm saying like five to seven hours at a, at, a, in a, at a time, so I can really flush out things instead of doing piecemeal, um, uh, little pieces here and there on, on, the, on the work. So, so that's why it's in a holding pattern, and also my level of focus just isn't, isn't what it was. Um, I think with this, you know, this um, social distancing and the e-teaching and everything, um, I find it's hard to focus um, also. Um, it's hard to focus, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to know what day of the week it is <laughs> at times, you know, that one day leads into another, sort of Groundhog Day-esque. Um, so that's where I am. Um, and so what I've done at, as, a, as a, a way to kind of solve that for me was to start doing these little, little guys, these little studies. This is perfect for me. Um, so I can do little paintings. I can dip in and out, um, you know, an hour here, um, a couple hours there. It's a, I can see it grow and, and, re, and as it responds to that, the outside composition kind of quickly. Um, this one, you know, any little change I make won't, won't uh, my return on investment, it won't, uh, won't be there. Um, I'll spend an hour or, or two or a half hour and it'll be a grind. Um, it'll take me too long. So hopefully that makes sense. And so um, if these I spend um, four hours on a piece, it's, it's, it's almost finished or, or eight hours on a piece and it's, and it's more complete. And I've learned a lot too. That's a, that's a, that's a big part of this too. Um, I thought that I could get through some images um, and so feel like I'm progressing and keep my spirits up that I'm actually producing and being creative, um, making progress in my, uh, my, with my work, but also learning a lot. So I'm planning on actually doing a number of these little studies. So even if I get back to this one, way back over here, so another s swivel, <laughs> um, I want to keep working on these. Because my thought is to use this series as a way to experiment. Um, I want to try new colors. I want to try collaging and adding and subtracting and cutting up the shapes. Not these three here, but in future pieces. Actually, um, potentially in the future have a wall of, of just hands, all expressing new things. Uh, and um, using it as a tool to, to um, uh, sort of like a, um, a tool to later on add to my, uh, my bigger pieces, if that makes sense. These are essentially my sketchbook. Um, so, um, if uh, one thing I wanted to say actually is that uh, 
because people ask me about my hands a lot and why I do hands. And so, um, so I did want to mention that why I'm doing hands, why I'm doing a study of hands, why do I have all these hands here, um, is that it's a, I feel like it's the way that we interact with the world. Um, the way that we, uh, for me, it's the way I, you know, I use my hands to create. So it's a direct connection between my hand and the canvas or the aluminum or it's just the way that uh, I express my thoughts is through my, through my hands. And, and uh, it's the way I, that uh, we greet each other. It's the way that we um, hold each other um, and communicate. Uh, it, there's a symbiotic relationship in my pieces between the movement of the hands, the expressive nature of the hands, and the figure. They play a symbiotic a role um, and I, hopefully they kind of react to and interact together and create something new. So that's where I am in my work. A shout out to you all. Hope you're happy and healthy and uh, I'll see you on the other side of this, right? All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.